The warrior bug in Starship Troopers was the most commonly seen bug in the war against the arachnid species. They were reproduced quicker and in larger numbers than the other species. Therefore, they were at the front of the lines during any attack. They run on four legs and can reach to about three meters long. Now their back legs are larger than the front ones and tend to be the main source of locomotion when they run. And on some occasions, they can be seen to burrow into the ground but can also climb walls. When it comes to attacking its prey, it will either use its front legs to impale a target or use its powerful mandibles to crush and sever limbs. And upon losing a limb itself, they can still fight with 86% combat efficiency. What makes them even more dangerous is that their exoskeleton is slightly armored which can absorb a huge amount of gunfire until it cannot fight anymore. A much more effective method to killing the warrior bug is by shooting the nerve stem located around the neck area. This quickly affects its entire body to shut down. And in the event of their prey being unreachable, they would even use the dead bodies of others to climb up in order to reach a target. And in other events, the warriors started to use different strategies like flanking the mobile infantry and picking off the soldiers one by one. Another method was that a single warrior would let out a loud roar when it confronts the humans. This would result in reinforcements coming to its location and in some cases, the warriors would even be used to clear out a minefield. Another variation of this bug was the Royal Warrior Bug that was seen in the 2005 video game. They are the generals from within the bug army. They are larger and can withstand more damage, but they do have a weakness, which is their eyes. They are sometimes seen guarding the brain bug or even the queen bug. There were also some warriors that could be mind controlled by a psychic, and these were all labeled as federal intelligence bugs. This type of warrior bug was used in a mission in search of a queen. Although they killed off the enemy warriors, a grenadier bug showed up and killed them off. Another version was the X-Bug. It was genetically modified from a royal warrior bug. It was created by the PSYOPs branch of the United Citizens Federation and used in the war against the arachnids. It was made to attract a swarm of bugs by using a special pheromone from its body and also to locate a brain bug. Although it proved useful in its mission, it was later killed on but it was also named the Royal X-Bug. Now there was a strain of the warrior that were called tigers because of the pattern on their bodies. The tiger itself was only different from the warrior in a sense that it was slightly faster and more aggressive. There was also one type called the tiger shard that could fire calcified plasma shards and another one called the tiger spit that was able to use acid projectiles from a distance. Also another one called the rhino warrior that would have a thick cast and a heavily armored head it was used as a battering ram. The hopper type was one of the few flyers and it was very sensitive to radio frequency transmission. It was a unit that would quickly fly and impale a target with its stinger, but its wings were also razor sharp and they were seen to decapitate some humans. Now the blaster type was a small, hard to hit enemy and was used to infiltrate enemy forces. The rippler type was a mutated version of the hopper and it would sacrifice itself as an attack. It would charge a target and crash into it and the cliff mite would climb a mountain and stick onto the surface and also act as a sniper by shooting compressed rock particles while being hidden. Their bodies were also heavily armored. The largest warrior type was the super tank bug which had a reddish color. It was as large as the plasma bug but more mobile. It was able to spit a purple liquid that was corrosive in nature. Now even though it was very large, its body was just like a standard warrior bug which meant it could be killed with enough gunfire, but also very vulnerable in the eyes and the nerve stem system. And the last one was the scorpion bug. It was encountered by the squad led by Colonel Rico on the planet Roku-san. It had a very thick body that was immune to rifle bullets, but it would take damage from explosives. And because of its thick armor, it moved very slowly. Now its tail was equipped with a plasma attack that would kill humans instantly. Now there was some fan art drawn by the artist Cory Hubble. This creature was a combination of the xenomorph from Alien and the warrior bug from Starship Troopers. Although it is just fan art, I wanted to include it because I think Cory did an amazing job on this. It looks awesome. So that's a look at the different versions of the warrior bug in Starship Troopers. Which one was your favorite? Put your answer in the comments section. To see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos and I'll see you in the next video.